guys can you believe it's October it's insane I feel like I haven't done many videos for you guys recently and that's because I'm still getting over holiday even though it was in August and there's just so much so much going on like preparation for when Claire comes back basically this video is gonna be an autumn haul I do have some holiday bits to show you I didn't do a separate video on these because I didn't get much whilst I was on holiday and yeah I'm so happy to finally be back and recording and I'm going to make sure there's going to be a lot of videos coming over the next or the last few months of this year. So without further ado, let's get into the video. As you can see, I have my autumn decorations up. I actually quite like um, the leaves, how they look this year, because I have my fairy lights still up from last Christmas and I like the kind of lighting thing going on here. So whilst I was on holiday, I picked up these two little guys. I love my cuddly toys and I just couldn't pass up these cute little faces. This guy is called Jeremy. My best friend nicknamed him or named him that and we, it just stuck. And this little girl, I've completely, oh, that's it, Luna. How did I forget that? These cuddly toys were basically around the park and you could get them at the end of um, rides and I just love tigers and lions so I just had to get them, they're so adorable. At the end of the rides they sold mood rings and I just had to get one for me, my sister and my best friend got one and so did my cousin. We've all got these matching rings and we went for the dolphin ring. I don't know why, we just kind of liked it and yeah. Whilst in Amsterdam, I just had to go to Kiko. I always go when I'm abroad because it's cheaper. I picked up two items. I picked up these beautiful eyeshadows. One is in this lavender and sparkly pink. And then the other one is also kind of this like silvery purple with like a gold champagne shimmer. Actually, it's more of a gray than a purple. But yeah, I just, I really like these and I haven't tried these before so I thought let's go for them and since I'm abroad and they are cheaper then I thought why not pick them up and have a go. I don't think I can go anywhere without going into Primark. It is seriously bad especially when I'm on holiday and I work at Primark and I'm supposed to be away from the place. We went into the Amsterdam Primark and by the way it is wasn't that great like I thought Europe might sell different items but apparently they don't so yes um, but I picked up these cute little studs they're hearts I hadn't seen them in our Primark before so for four euros I might as well just pick them up while I'm there so that's all I got whilst I was on holiday I have picked a few little bits of homeware but as I say this video is mainly clothes so yeah so when it comes to candles I just have to raid the shelves I just, I can't, I can't leave, I can't leave scents that, that really catch my nose. Okay, the first one I have here is called Crackling Wood Fire. It kind of smells kind of like cologne. I really do love that scent. It's, it's kind of cozy and it's the perfect kind of candle that I could definitely burn whilst reading a book. This one is Blueberry Cheesecake. When I got a whiff of this, I was just like, yeah, instant purchase. Oh, and it just smells so delicious and edible. Next we have Christmas Magic. I could not not pick up a Christmas scent. And again, it just smells kind of like a burning fire, cinnamon, and a bit of marshmallow maybe. The last votive I have here is the Japanese Maple. And I just thought this smelled very autumnal, cozy, and it has a little bit of a perfumey scent. I can't really, I'm terrible at describing candles. Let's face it. The last candle I have here is a small jar and it's called Autumn Glow. Now when I saw this I was like, please smell how I want you to smell and it smells so good. It just smells like it's it's been raining, the leaves are all on the ground, you know, and a nice walk after the rain has just like touched all the leaves and the ground. It just smells like that and it's like cold, I don't know, that's just what it smells like and I really love that scent, especially when it comes to autumn. Oh wait, I do have some more candles, I forgot about these ones. So these I picked up from Primark and the first one I have is called Berry Christmas and if you can see, they have little pugs on and They've got a red nose with antlers. I think that's just adorable. Definitely smells of Christmas. 
with a lot of berries. The next one is, is actually cinnamon, it's called frosted cinnamon, but the name of it is called winter spice. And I wouldn't say that is frosted cinnamon, it smells like, it smells wintry and cold, but then maybe the slightest hint of cinnamon, not much, but it's really nice, it's kind of like fruity as well. <laughs> Enough of candles, we are moving on. So I saw this in the Christmas section of Primark and it is a little star led light and I thought that would go really well with my white and red um, Christmas decorations that I put up last year and I thought this would look really nice added to that. With my autumn decorations I don't actually have an autumn themed accessory dish so I picked up this cute wood mouse and I picked this up from Asda it was £1.50 so I just thought it'd fit perfectly with my autumn background and I can put all my little earrings and jewellery on there. A few weeks later I then saw this one and I had to get this one as well. This is Santa, a perfect fit with my red and white background for my Christmas decorations and yeah, £1.50 Asda. I wasn't going to buy this but then I thought about it and I was like, actually, no, that would be really handy. Primark have started selling these microwavable potties. So basically, it's a replacement of a water bottle. There is a wheat bag inside this little guy and you microwave that, put that back in and then he's just a snuggable little hottie. Clothing-wise and accessory-wise, I did pick up this. It's this lovely burnt orange um, long sleeve funnel neck top from Primark. Also, I picked up these cute earrings. I love these. So they're like these pom-pom earrings from Zara. When I bought the black ones, I then found out that they did burgundy and then I found out they did mustard as well. So I, I thought, what the heck, buy all three. And perfect for this time of year. So that's my reasoning behind all of this. Next up from Zara, I bought these. These are culottes and I just absolutely love these colours. In fact, this would go really well with what I'm wearing right now. I just think it's very autumnal, very me. I wanted something a little bit darker for autumn and I feel like I can still pull these off at this time of year with some black boots and this top. Oh my gosh, and the earrings. I picked up this grey checked cardigan. It's a long cardigan and I don't really have that many long cardigans. In fact, I don't really have any at all. This is from Primark and I just love these pockets. If you follow me on Instagram, you may have seen me wear these down Skegness at the beach with my blue play suit on and it was just so comfy. I bought some pom-pom socks. I bought them in black and cream slash white, however you want to Oh, it says ivory on the label but these were £1.50 from Primark I just thought these would look really cute with like ankle boots or even just walking boots in general just boots in the pajama section of Primark I found out they did culotte pajamas like pajama bottoms in grey and in this really nice silky soft material so soft and just I want to wear them the main reason of this next purchase was the statement on the front of the top. So it says, buy me pizza and tell me I'm pretty. I just wanted it because it says buy me pizza on it really. It's in this baby blue and the same material as the culotte pyjama bottoms and it's kind of cropped as well whereas the culottes are high waisted so they would look really cute together and cosy, so cosy. I told myself not to get any more hats for this winter but what did I go and do? I bought two more hats. I could not not get this red pink mustard hat. It just, it was so me. I saw this one with this like brown, white, pink pom pom on. They're just so cozy to wear. And I don't know, I'm addicted to hats. Is that a bad thing? So due to me with my lack of jackets slash cardigans, I bought myself this really, really nice wool cardigan and it has like a zip on it so it zips up and then what's even cooler is that it has a hood with a fleece lining and I was just like, I need that in my life. Just instant gilziness. I just, I don't know, I love it. It's kind of oversized as you can see but I can like roll up the sleeves, stretch the sleeves and just be really, oh just imagine hot chocolate with this on. You don't know how long I've been wanting a really like oversized jumper. I could just be so cozy and comfy in. I bought this again at Primark, this light grey material. It is so soft and the sleeves are just so, so, so long. 
cozy and it's grey, I love grey, I really have. I think this has been my year of grey things, I just have a lot of grey. I have already worn this so I do apologise. It's this khaki green army coat and it has one, two, three, four pockets, a zip up the front and I am really not portraying as well. It's just a nice khaki coat. I really like that and I really like green, especially for autumn. Last few items. Whew. This I absolutely love. I saw this on a mannequin every day for the past month during my time like walking into work and they didn't have it in my size on the floor so eventually I went into the office and was like please can I have that coat off the mannequin because it's my size and I really want it. This is an oversized suit jacket in a coat form. It's grey again and it has some kind of like red threading going through it to break up the checkered effect. It has one button, one button just there and it is perfect with like a jumper underneath. It's nice to smart up a casual outfit. Last year I wanted a cord jacket. I ended up buying a brownish burnt orange one from Matalan. This year Primark bought the jacket that I really wanted to get last year back into their stores. It's this burgundy cord jacket. You don't know how much I really hunted down this jacket last year. It killed me that I wasn't able to get my hands on one but they re-released it this year. I just love the colour. It's just perfect. It's exactly what I wanted last year. I can rock it this year. I love this jacket. I think mustard has really come into play this year, um, especially with me. Um, at the end of summer I just wanted to buy everything mustard. I was looking on ASOS and I saw these babies. I literally instantly fell in love. And then I watched Zoella's video like three days after I ordered them and saw that she had bought them as well and I was kind of like what? It's, it's crazy how that worked. I absolutely love these, they're so comfortable. You can get these in tall and in petite. Petite, did I say that right? And they're this pumpkin orange mustard shade. I just love the pleat detailing on these and they're just so comfy. They are quite warm as well because they're quite thick. Lastly, has to be my signature autumn jacket for this year. I continue to browse through Zara and I saw this mustard yellow jacket. Like, oh my gosh, it's just so yellow. And I just thought I could pull it off. Well, I, I hope I can pull it off. It's just so, so comfy. It's this kind of like suede material on the outside and then a very nice soft fur lining to keep me very cozy and warm. That is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked any of the bits and pieces that I picked up, I will put all the information below. My giveaway is still going on. I am planning to announce the winner in my next video, not vlog, there are some vlogs coming from holiday, but my next video should either be a Disney video or a favourites, I'm not entirely sure. If you want to enter that giveaway, it's for a chip mug or a chip purse, head on over to that video, I'll put all the information below. And yeah, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and comment below. I love you guys and I hope you all have a wonderful autumn slash day. Bye. Pull this down, I look a bit like a fruit cake. Come on, come on in. There we go. Say hi to the people. Say hi. Look at this. Look at that. Such a cutie. You don't look hungry. My stomach's rumbling. Where's Siffy? Where's Siffy? There she is.